Greetings, welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris and today I want to show you something. So I have been wanting to own a CNC of some sort for quite a while. Now uh, that I'm in the new place, I've gone and got one and it's here. It's not biggest or the most powerful thing, but my intentions are to use it mainly for making printed circuit boards, i.e. drilling printed circuit boards. Small desktop one, so it's not too loud, not overpowered, but uh, just enough to uh, make some holes in a FR4. I was looking high and low for a model that's going to be appropriate, and yeah, the main thing was it would have to be inexpensive. Uh, something a hobbyist can you know buy or afford without spending too much money it is on the very low end of the scale as far as the cost goes borderline with what you would have to spend on getting the drivers uh, the frame the everything else if you just built it from scratch so yeah i think that's a reasonable value another spec that was really important for me with the cnc was the size of the bed so I want to be able to make printed circuit boards up to A4 size in one in one go for no other particular reason that I've got an A4 laser printer. If I print out a PCB design from KiCad, I want to be able to print the holes on a mask on it to etch it and so on. So I wouldn't want my CNC to be the bottleneck for as far as the size goes. This one here will do 26 by 32 centimeters, slightly larger than the A4 piece of paper what I can get out of KiCad and my brother laser printer. So in this video, I'm going to take the stuff out of the box i'm going to look at the things and you know mainly because i can't wait it's quite late today already so i won't be able to do a full build but i think what i'll do i'll build the whole thing in a couple of videos i'll try to make it as um, as detailed as possible so if you want to get one it will be a good instructional video oh well enough talking let's open the box here is how it came it's a large box this is where it came from 300 pounds 400 us dollars some of the pictures that they show uh, are of a different model of the same series machines. This is the biggest one the, that there is out of the series. It came from a seller, JZ Electric, uh, which was really good in communication and yeah, this this arrived in about 10 days or so after it was shipped and it was shipped about five or six days after I've made the purchase. Let's make some incisions. Ah, there we go. So we have one box, we have two box, and we have three box. Now we can't tell this on the camera, but box one and box three were significantly heavier than the box two. And we'll see what's inside. What's this? Another box. And we've got wrapped up something and more wrapped up something. And even more wrapped up something. Let's open the boxes and see what's in those. This is like Christmas. Okay, so this is the gantry. So this is what, this is entire Z axis. We've got uh, linear ball bearings. Anti-backlash uh, screw. This whole thing is 3D printed and you can clearly tell it's been 3D printed by the pattern it left. And that's okay. There is an option to get a metal Z-axis for the purpose of drilling PCBs. This is absolutely adequate. Forces on there are not going to be that great. This, this should do just fine. The spindle on this machine doesn't come with um, any mounting facilities. It's a 5mm, as you can see, shaft. So I've already ordered a 5mm ER11 collet adapter with a set of collets. Another box. And what we have is two sections of an extrusion. This will be the work bed. This gets mounted side by side. Those are 15 millimeter thick plates at the working bed. And some more extrusions, 20 by 20 square profiles. They seem to be drilled in a, in a few spots. Okay, here we have some electronics. Power supply cable that I don't entirely understand. Where is this plug from? Maybe Australia? 12 volt 10 amp power adapter. It's uh, suspiciously light, but it's uh, one of those welded cases. 
um, 12 volt 10 amps 120 watts I'm not sure whether I'm going to open this uh, made in China it claims uh, TUV certification if it blows up it blows up tough we've got some sleeving for the cables uh, cable tidy a USB cable so this is where the brain box is so USB cable a little mounting plate for all the electronics some more cables for the stepper motors and here is the drive it's amazing how little circuit board there is to it this is based off on an Arduino and what it is it's at mega with three little stepper drivers pretty much that's all it is amazing that's going to be fun to work with now this machine works uh, using Gerber software and the last box I think that's the motors and yes those are the motors I think in a another box hardware so we've got some linear slides and brackets for mounting the guide rails and here even more I've even got a little pack of hex those are cast aluminum and on some of the models I looked at those were 3d printed as well and yeah lots of nuts and bolts yeah there's gonna be a lot of screwing about to put this together here this is one of the packs I'm not going to fully open it but as you can see this is just a pack of uh, eight no this is pack of four profiles those are 20 by 40 millimeters parts of the frame of the CNC and here is one more pack like this um, here we have uh, two lengths there's another three profiles here one just a little bit longer than the pack of four and two much longer so this will be the length uh, two of those will be the width uh, I'm assuming another two will be the upright and this will be the top frame where the country is sliding on and lastly and to be careful not to scratch the surface we've got some hardware to for the motion so we've got uh, two more screws those are trapezoidal screws which again I think it will be fine for our purpose those will be coupled to the stepper motors and yeah provide the motion as i said i'm going to try to make this as detailed as possible but today i just couldn't bear looking at the big box any longer i wanted to see what's inside so might as well share it with everyone and have a look together right yeah that's it for this one this build will be coming up i promise not to build anything off camera but at the same time if that's not your thing you might find it a little bit boring so sorry up front but i will be indulging on building this so the videos might get a little bit longer than usual thank you for watching and subscribe for more random electronics related stuff follow me on twitter um, i do occasionally post tweet some stuff for today that's it take care